are friends. Today we are going to draw a zebra with black and white. Well, just a little bit of white, but it looks like a lot. Actually, a lot from me too. We are going to draw a zebra. First, starting with the eye, and you you could use a Q-tip. So start with the curve. If you recognize this move, just okay. Like it's not. It's a blue, is it? There, the zebra's eye. Does he ever have a super big eye? No. And the mouth. And the hair. First, we're going to do the ears. It's like the horse, but it's the horse that, but this is the type of horse that has stripes. Just do dumb spiky like if you know how to draw a hedgehog, that's how you do it. This was this zebra for me is running so it's going to like be backwards, not like up something or up. I'm gonna make the um, chest and black. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's like the hooves. So and the side. The leg. I gotta make the hooves darker. Of course, that's right. You can do any pattern you like. the back yeah. okay. That's good. I'm gonna make it 
stripes of sand. Mm, but it won't be so bad. Or it will be a new species of horse. Or a zebra though. on the bottom too. Wow. It's gonna make it harder hair <laughs> though. to be dark stone. If you don't want to do the shadow, you can do the background of the savanna, forest, or anything you, you like. Or add some details like rings. <laughs> Never say a table with wings or earrings. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the inside of the back leg and the front. Beautiful, and we're done. Wow, that looks very nice. That's like a brush painting. Brush painting? Well, it's pupil. <laughs> what am I saying? Pupil right now. Let's see what you got here. A zebra. A running a zebra. A running zebra? Uh -huh. It's like a jumping zebra, too. Bye, our friends, and I hope you like this video. And I hope you like to draw with me this. Happy zebra? Something? Zebra? Jumping zebra? Okay. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Alright, so, alright, bye. We're gonna turn it off. Bye!